Ooh. Nice sliding intro. What's up, guys? Welcome to this video. Today is gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna be trying something else. <coughs> okay, sorry. I can't even. I can't even. So today is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a different type of video because I also I always want to mix things up and try new things out. So let's just get into it. So back in the second sec. I can't even, I can't do this. So back in the second grade, I was a little bit sketchy wetchy. It was like all throughout those years. I was just super duper sketchy. Actually, never mind. I wasn't in second grade. Now that I think about it, I was in first grade, which makes it even worse because I was even more crazy. First, I want to give you guys some background. When I was in first grade, I hated school like so much. Like, Oh my goodness, I feel so bad for my mother because, whoa, she, I was so crazy. On Mondays and stuff, after coming back from a weekend, like, you know how Fridays are like the best? You're like, yes, no school for like two days. At one, two, yeah, two days. <laughs> and then Monday is just like, ah, oh, it's the worst. And so on Mondays, I would legit purposely sleep in. And then I would have to like, my mom would have to like drag me to school. And then I, sometimes I would even like meet with a counselor for like convincing me that school was good or something. I honestly do not know, but mom, if you're watching this, I love you. You are amazing. So I was crazy. I hated school, which made it even worse. Overall, it was a sketchy witchy deal. You know what I mean? My first grade teacher was awesome though. She was super cool. It was this first day when we were trying this out, trying out this new thing. We were trying out this like recess buddies. You know what recess is? It's like you like play for like 15 minutes and you're like, yeah, yeah, playing with my handball. We're doing recess buddies and so she'd pick popsicle sticks with people's names on it. And so she'd pick two people's names and you'd have to be with them for those whole 15 minutes. I know, it's the biggest deal in the whole entire world. No, it's really not that big of a deal, but to me it was like my life because recess was like my personal 15 minutes to do whatever I wanted and to spend it with someone I didn't even know. The time came up when she pulled my popsicle stick and I was, I was legit sweating and like I was just like, oh, please be someone, please be someone I know, please be my best friend, please be Jilly, Jilly, I don't, I don't know anybody named Jilly, but please pick Jilly. She, she goes in she, to reach into the jar. This is an invisible jar, if you didn't know. She goes in to grab the popsicle stick. She pulls it out and reads aloud. I'm not gonna say their name. But I'll just call them Bobby, the, Bob the Builder. So Bob the Builder, I, you know how like in first grade, you don't ha you have those people that you don't like and there was this one kid, and I, I used to like everybody and stuff, but there was this one kid that beat up my best friend in kindergarten. We were all cutting up our paper in kindergarten, we're like, ooh, yay, I like blue, and they're like, ooh, I like red, and he's like, I like green. And this guy, so while we were cutting it out, we were taking turns with our scissors, you know what I mean? You gotta take turns, you gotta wait for your turn and take turns, right? So this was when a, there was a sub, and you know how subs sometimes can't even do anything when there's like, things that are going on because like I love I love having subs and I know plenty of people that are subs and you guys are all great but sometimes subs don't even know what the plans are totally and so when kids are asking the subs questions and the sub doesn't even know the answer that's when it gets sketchy wedgy today was a sub which made it even worse because the sub didn't even know how to resolve this conflict and so we were taking turns with our scissors trying to cut out like whatever we wanted my friend was just cutting out his scissors and we were just taking turns back and forth and then this this kid he goes up and tries to take the scissors while he's cutting out the piece of paper tries to take it out of his hand it's ah oh, so crazy he tries to take it out of his hand and my friend's like hey 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 we're supposed to take turns here we're supposed to we're supposed to be kind because 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 that's what we're supposed to do, right? And the guy's like, mm mm, no. And so my friend was just trying to like hold the scissors, he's trying to cut out his like little goldfish that was blue. And then the guy just tries to take it out of his hand. But it, it doesn't stop there. He, the guy, Bob the Builder, 
grabs the scissors and he's trying to grab it and he's like, hey, hey, give me the scissors now. And he's like not even using his manners, not even saying thank you or like please, not thank you. Why would you say thank you before please? <laughs> Literally, he's trying to take it and then my friend's like, sub, sub, sub. And right before the sub turns around to look, the Bob the Builder kid smacks my best friend in the face. Like what? Why would he punch my best friend? You are not allowed to punch my best friend. Sorry, that was a long backstory, but you needed to hear it to understand this. So she pulls out the name, and guess who it was? Pop the Pilter, Pop the Pilter, and Pop the Pilter and J Rod are gonna be doing recess buddies together. And I was like, and I legit stand it up from my desk, and I was like, no! And I started screaming. I legit started screaming because I didn't want to be partners with Bob the Builder because Bob the Builder punched my friend in the face Not cool Not cool. And so I was just like no And I just got mad I was like And I was just like I'm not I'm not gonna be friends with Bob the Builder I'm not gonna spend 15 minutes of my playtime and recess with Bob the Builder so I, I, I just started sprinting out the door. I was like, peace out. I'm going home, boss. And so that's what I did. I didn't live too far away from the school back then. And so I was just like, I got a free ride home. I can just walk, uh, not walk, run, because I'm like running away from the popo, the, 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 the teacher popo. I was booking it. I was like, mm, yeah. And I'd practice. I had, I had good practice for, with running and stuff because I had practice running away from getting my shot. You know when you get like shots and flu shots and stuff? I always ran away from those too. I ran out of the hospital plenty of times. Back to the story, I was booking it away from those teachers. I was like, mm-mm, I'm going home. Peace out, boys. And so I was running as fast as I could and then I see um, one of the teachers that I really like. She was like super duper nice and she was like the only nice person ever at that school. No, I'm just kidding. But like, I really liked her because she was super nice and I don't know. And so she was just like, J-Rod, J-Rod, stop, please. She didn't say it like that, but I wish she did. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. And so I was just like, uh. I just, I don't, I just want to go home, and I don't want to do reasons, buddies, with Bob the Builder. And she just looked at me real, real quick, and she's like, "Do you need to, do you need to have some time sitting in the office?" And I was like, "Maybe." And so then, this is when it all got crazy. I had plenty of time in the office, you know, because one of my best friends, he uh, couldn't handle the smell of cafeteria, cafeteria food, like, because it was like in a big gym, and so like the cafeteria food was like super strong and you could smell it, and it's, you know, you know cafeteria food does not smell good, like, whatsoever, and so the, whenever the kid went out to lunch, he would legit throw up at the smell, and so, because his stomach was like really sensitive, and so we would always eat in the office together because we both brought lunches, not bottom, because if we bought them, then we'd like, so, I was used to the office, but when I went to the office, it was like basically like a mind trick. They like tricked me into thinking like, yo, it's totally safe in the office, you're not in trouble. <laughs> not in trouble from running away to school. I found out that I was in trouble. The principal was like, oh, j Rod, can you come into my office? And I was like, oh no. And so I walk into her office. It's like, I'm sorry, I don't want to be recess buddies with Bob the Builder. And she's just like, it's okay, it's okay. Just make sure, just make sure you don't do it again because we don't like it when our students run away from school. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. You just didn't want to be recess buddies with Bob the Builder. But she was really nice about it. Believe it or not, she wasn't mean like mo some principals are. Some principals are like, mm, I'm gonna smack you. Ah! I'm just kidding. That's, she would probably go in jail if she did that. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. It was super fun to make. I really want to make more of these for you guys because I'm just trying to just, I don't know, just make variety so you guys can get more than just vlogs. 
So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and also please send it, send it, please send it to all your friends that you think would love this video because, oh my goodness, this story is crazy and I have so much more for you guys. If you want to hear some more, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe because you guys are beautiful. I don't know what that was. Love. Peace out, homies.